Welcome to today's College of Engineering Commencement Ceremony. We are delighted to have you all here to share in this special day. I'm Christine Pearson, and I'm honored to serve as faculty marshal for today's program. This celebration is devoted entirely to our bachelor's degree candidates. UC Berkeley is recognized as a global leader in education and research, and Berkeley Engineering is no exception. Our programs are ranked among the best in the world. While that says great things about our faculty, it also speaks volumes about you, our students. Each one of you deserves to be very proud of your accomplishment. To offer the first of what will be many congratulations to our graduates, I'm pleased to present Su J. King Liu, Dean of the College of Engineering. One of my great privileges as Dean is to preside over the College of Engineering commencement ceremonies. It is a high point of my year, particularly this unusual year, to be here to celebrate your milestone accomplishment. While we wish we could be conducting this event together, our distance in no way diminishes the magnitude of what you have achieved. All of my faculty colleagues share this privilege of witnessing your transformation into engineering leaders. You've engaged in a rigorous curriculum that taught you to solve challenging problems, both as individual contributors and as members of multidisciplinary teams. As Berkeley engineers, you use your minds, your hearts, and hands to innovate new solutions to make our world a better place. We've asked a lot of you, and you have risen to the task. So now we take great pride in sending you off into the world with a degree from one of the top engineering schools in the world. As you embark on the next phase of your life, we hope that you will advance our public mission as inclusive leaders who create new knowledge and find solutions that will benefit our diverse society. We know that in order to develop the best products, processes, and systems, we must value and include the perspectives and ideas of everyone, including those who come from different backgrounds or who might think differently than we do. Berkeley engineers are already known for their grit and ability to solve problems and innovate. My hope is that your reputation will also include advocacy for a fair and inclusive society. I know that you will make Berkeley engineering proud. Now I'm pleased to introduce a graduate who has been given the honor of speaking on behalf of the class of 2021. Gabrielle Prindle is graduating as an industrial engineering and operations research major who is originally from Lake Forest, Illinois. She says she's a natural extrovert, which she attributes to being raised in a family of six. Gabrielle's greatest passion is in the intersection of technology and literature. In her free time, she reads 200 books per year and encourages other women in STEM through her membership in Phi Sigma Rho, the country's foremost sorority for women in engineering, and the Committee of Women in IP Law. After graduation, she'll be working full-time at the law firm Haley Giuliano and plans to attend law school to become a patent attorney. Please join me in welcoming Gabrielle Prindle. Hello, fellow graduates, friends, and family. I couldn't be prouder to be here today as a graduate of University of California Berkeley's College of Engineering. My UC Berkeley story began nearly five years ago. My dad had been traveling with me to visit engineering schools, and Berkeley was the stop I was most excited for. I had already taken a virtual tour online, planned out which IUR classes I wanted to take first, and read countless articles on Berkeley's culture of innovation. But when I arrived, I was entranced by the trees the smell of eucalyptus and pine, and the mismatched building styles that somehow blended together perfectly. A few minutes into the tour, I told my dad that we were leaving. What? The tour just started, he protested. I'm going here, I said. He probably answered with, you haven't even applied yet. Berkeley's hard to get into, you know, it's one of the best engineering schools. But I didn't hear a word. I was already off eager to explore on my own the place that I knew instinctively would become my home. 
Once I arrived, I truly had the freshman experience. Calculus discussions at 8 in the morning, getting lost in main stacks, and grueling physics midterms. My sophomore year, I moved to Northside to be closer to what was most important, Kresge Engineering Library. If you're a Berkeley engineer and you went a whole semester without crying in Kresge, well, you certainly weren't me or one of my friends. By my junior year, I thought I had it all figured out. I spent my days surrounded by my classmates and friends, studying in libraries, camping out at engineering student services to wait for my favorite tutors, and going to as many office hours as possible. But then, the unthinkable happened. A devastating pandemic. Everything stopped, and we all went home. I thought the college was over. I thought that without going to classes, without being on campus, without Kresge, well, how could we carry on? How could we still be a part of the Berkeley community? How could I still be a Berkeley engineer? The most valuable lesson that I will take with me from my time as an undergrad came from this experience. I thought that there was absolutely no way we could go on. But the Berkeley community did not just persist. We flourished. Classes resumed on Zoom. Study groups gathered on Discord. Fundraisers transitioned from Sproul bake sales to TikTok dares. We met our professor's children through a screen, saw their home offices, and heard their dogs bark at the most inopportune times. Though I have known from the beginning that Berkeley is where I belong, being a student during the pandemic has only expanded my sense of pride at being a part of this community. Berkeley is not about the Campanile, the eucalyptus trees, or the burritos from Golden Bear Cafe. It's about the students, the professors, and the staff members who work tirelessly to deliver the best possible educational experience, whether it be on campus or over a computer screen. I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to everyone watching. You all truly played an integral part in the achievement being celebrated today. Whether you are a graduate, a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, or a friend. Nobody makes it to UC Berkeley alone, and nobody makes it through engineering alone. The support from our loved ones is what gave us graduates the courage and strength to become the people we are today. I hope that today you all remember where this journey began, and not just for your graduate, but for you. I hope that you remember dropping your graduate off at their freshman dorm. I hope you remember coming to football games, I hope you remember every phone call from your stressed out engineer. I hope that over this past year, as trying as it has been, you've cherished sharing a space with your student or encouraging them from afar. While you may not have taken any midterms or stayed in Kresge until the lights flickered at midnight, you are all part of the UC Berkeley family. Congratulations to each and every one of you and graduates, best of luck on your next adventure. May you always keep Berkeley in your hearts, and most importantly, go Bears! I'm delighted to introduce Andrew Yang, a Berkeley Engineering alumnus who will deliver today's commencement address. Andrew received his bachelor's degree in EECS here at UC Berkeley in 1983 before receiving his PhD from University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and teaching as a tenured professor at the University of Washington. Andrew has more than 30 years of experience in technology research, product development, and business scaling. In addition, he's been a serial entrepreneur and a venture investor in the automation of complex engineering, data, and life science technologies. He's also been an active early stage investor with a specific focus in life science technologies, including Berkeley Lights, a recent startup that went public from UC Berkeley working in the area of cell engineering. As a Berkeley engineering alumnus, Andrew has been very engaged and supportive of the college. He has invested in developing a comprehensive mentorship program to benefit the entire Berkeley engineering community that will include improved support and training for student success and pathways to leadership. Please join me in welcoming Andrew Yang. Thank you, Dean Liu, for your kind introduction. I cannot be more proud to be here. Congratulations, class of 2021, Berkeley Engineering. You are all underachievers. 
because if you are not, you would have dropped out of Berkeley long ago and be on your way to make your first billion dollars. Instead, you're here listening to me talking. Please don't get me wrong. Those are the super achievers with remarkable stories. But remember, there's just a handful of them each decade. Were you amazed and inspired like I was at the speed this COVID vaccine would develop? Literally within nine months after the outbreak. There are so many scientists and engineers around the world worked around the clock to make this happen. They are certainly not the underachievers. And just a few weeks ago, I heard about this persistent engineer working on a suit, a full body suit for a person with Parkinson's disease. Now this is really compassion engineering. I just can't imagine the emotions and the joy when the person wearing their suit, suddenly the shaking disappeared. And last November at the CASP conference, Google's DeepMind using Deep Learning Network basically solved the 50 years old grand problem, not in chess playing, but in protein folding and accurately predict the 3D structures and shape of proteins, which are the basic building block of our body. This is really a huge deal and will have a big impact on future medicine for your generation, including my children. Of course, you all remember last fall when we were all smoked in, when five of the six largest wildfires in the history of California happened in just one fire season. We all need to face the reality of climate change and the need for cleaner energy. So I have to say this to you, class 2021, you are the new generation of high achievers and you do have big problems to solve. Now is the best time to be in engineering because the world appreciates more than ever its importance. I know many of you sitting there though are worried for the first time in your life that you don't have a long-term plan. I was in that position when I graduated from Berkeley. In fact, I remember the best departing gift Berkeley gave me was the realization that I was never the smartest person in the room. That's why I never took any opportunity for granted. And looking back, my career was definitely not linear, involving many changes from industry back to graduate school, into academia for teaching and research, and back to industry for startup. It was actually not until I was in my mid 30s when I found my true passion. So I believe this degree you have from Berkeley Engineering is very powerful. It provides you a solid ground and maybe even a head start for you to choose. So for your next challenge, just learn and adapt, but be ready to make that step up change. Of course, success is never a guarantee. It is also not just about personal glory. At the end, what matters the most is the positive impact you can make on people around you, especially your family and the society. So if you are an engineer, ask yourself, what's the next cutting edge product you can help design? As a future educator, how can you inspire the next generation with your wisdom, experience, and knowledge? As an entrepreneur, count the number of jobs you can create, large or small. And as a doctor or a scientist in the life science, how many lives can you help save? I would also like to say this. If you have a chance to be a mentor to someone who didn't have the same opportunities or background that you had. Please don't shut your door on them. It's your chance to give back. Encourage them and guide them so they can also be the best they can be. I believe this is what represents the true Berkeley spirit and value to build a long-term inclusive culture. So with this, 
class of 2021, I wish you best luck and a great life with an even greater purpose. Go make us proud and go bear. Thank you. I would now like to recognize some remarkable members of the class of 2021, the recipients of this year's departmental citation. This award recognizes the highest level of achievement in the major. Wei Wen Tsui, bioengineering. Matthew Grem, civil and environmental engineering. Stephen Tian, electrical engineering and computer science. Brittany Ways, Engineering Science. Matthew Signoroti, Industrial Engineering and Operations Research. Jonathan Lee, Material Science and Engineering. Eric Wang, Mechanical Engineering. Samuel Varghese, Nuclear Engineering. We are also proud to congratulate Leila Kabuli, a graduating senior in electrical engineering and computer sciences. This year, Leila was awarded the University Medal, making her UC Berkeley's top graduating senior. Congratulations to all of you on this high achievement. Now I'd like to recognize the collective accomplishments of the class of 2021. Each one of you exemplifies the Berkeley engineering mission to educate leaders, create knowledge, and serve society. You've helped to build a stronger college community and a better world with the research and the projects you've dedicated yourself to. As well as with leadership roles in our many student organizations, competition teams, professional societies, and service programs. Congratulations to you all. Commencement is a proud day for graduates and their families. It's also a proud moment for the University of California. The degrees conferred by the university attest to the high academic achievement of our students and the fulfillment of the primary task of the university. I would like to invite all the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts to rise as they are able. In my authority as Dean of the College of Engineering at the University of California, I grant you the degree of Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We are so proud of you. Fiat Lux and Go Bears! A virtual procession of baccalaureate students is viewable on this page. You can also view individual slides at the bottom of this page. Congratulations again to our class of 2021. You are now and forever Berkeley engineers and alumni of the finest public university and one of the top engineering schools in the world. You can be very proud. As you embark on your career or continue your education, we hope you'll remember these years at Berkeley with affection. Come back to share your experiences and to pass on your knowledge to the candidates who follow. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Congratulations, best wishes, and go Bears!